Hi everyone. So, um, this is my fifth take. <laughs> and it's kind of terrible how difficult it is to, you know, not run into someone. There's a surprisingly large number of people out and about at 11.45 at night, I think. But yeah, so... In my personal experience, whenever I felt the an overpowering really desire to harm myself, generally speaking, it hasn't been because of spite or selfishness or logic or, you know, anger or revenge, like if you did this to me, so I'm going to do this to everyone. Generally speaking, whenever I felt that that need, really, that kind of desperate desire, it's always been preceded or accompanied with this, like this intense drowning feeling of pain, sadness, agony. And at the end of it, I'm at least... I'm not really feeling or thinking anything except that I want to get away from that pain. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. I'm not thinking about myself, really. I'm just thinking, I have to get away from this, this these feelings like Sylvia Plath for example her bell jar and that describes it pretty well not because like you're just you're cut off from people you are but that's not why really it's because you're kind of drowning you're lost in a ridiculously infinite sea of a mishmash of emotions that are just stewing in your head And at some point, the decision to want to hurt yourself is kind of taken out of your hands. Because it's not a want anymore, it's a need. You need it to stop. You need the right to stop. So the only way I kind of made it through senior year of high school, which was last year for me right now, as of this recording, is because every time that feeling came, generally speaking, something or someone was kind of there to distract me or just keep me there. And there's also the fact that I was kind of, <laughs> I was procrastinating on, you know, the final act. For example, I came up with a rule with my friends that if I was ever intending to commit suicide, I would have to text and inform each of them four hours beforehand, and they would have to... I would have to make sure that they knew four hours beforehand. So the reason I'm bringing this up now, when I'm arguably not experiencing something quite as intense as that is because I'm kind of going through the same thought process. I'm just kind of exhausted. The feelings aren't as intense, but they're still there. That same kind of weird feeling of isolation, sadness, pain. It's not overpowering anymore, but it's constant. And after a while, you do just get really tired. And the strange thing is, is that... When I told people... Because at some point, I, I, did I did tell people, I mean... When I realized it was kind of out of my control, that I didn't really have a choice, I started telling people. And, uh, I'm gonna turn around here, hold on. 
the weird thing is, is that if those, if you become estranged from those people, you lose a huge amount of support that you kind of need. And it gets terrible all over again. Because someone you depended on utterly is not there anymore. And even if you don't feel quite as bad as you did, you feel almost a need, an obligation. Obligation is a better word to, you know, end it. Because I feel like if you don't end it, then you're just kind of begging for attention. And you don't want to beg for attention. That's not what you were aiming for. You just wanted help. I don't know. I am tired. I think I'm gonna survive the year, but still. In some ways, I don't want to. My ideal right now is kind of just finding a quiet place and just sitting there and letting everything settle. Until I can start to grip the world around me again in a more concrete fashion. But, um, if you, whoever it is you are, who happens to listen to this, I do, I do recommend talking to people about it. Like, not random people, but, you know, individuals you trust. If you don't have that person, I mean, look at, see a professional. Or find a really close friend and just say, I've been having problems, and just, you know, go through with it. Because it does help immeasurably. The professional, I'm not so sure yet. But the friend, definitely. But at the same time, though, you have to realize that people can't really handle your problems on top of theirs. I mean, everyone's kind of battling their own giants. So it's a weird sort of, you know, balance. You can't really handle yours, but they can't handle it either. So you have to give them just as much as they're willing to take. And then hope they, they're okay with taking it. So, if you're listening to this and you do happen to also be, you know, depressed, suicidal, etc. Um, I wish you good luck. I think you can make it through the year. I mean, I think you can. I don't think anyone's just doomed. Just wait it out. I hope for the best for you. Thank you. Um, so, this was a really long vlog, and I'm sorry for that, but I hope you guys had a great day. See ya.